Hello, welcome to another video tutorial on Shiny apps and in this video we will see how to use select input UI widget in Shiny. So here is how it looks like. We have this uh, select input or we can say it's another kind of drop down menu where you have uh, uh, multiple choices and the user can select either one of them or more than one of these choices okay so here we are in R studio and I already have my working directory set up I also have created these two uh, ui.r and server.r files uh, but currently we just have the skeleton or basic structure with the uh, layout functions and also in server.r it's uh, it's an empty server function we are not doing any computation or using the uh, inputs user inputs let's start filling in uh, the code and I want to have a, a statement there saying demonstration of the select input UI widget in shiny now let's go ahead and run the app just to be sure that there are no errors and we can see that the dial panel is showing the message we want and we can go ahead and start using the widget we'll start with a sidebar panel and in order to use the select input we have select input function and I write select I and press the tab key here we have the functions and we can see function and we can see that it takes the argument as input ID which we are going to use label the choices and the choices can be uh, as a list or as a C function we can define the choices having the names and values selected um, if we want to show up um, a particular name or value uh, in the drop down menu or the select input otherwise by default it will take the first value multiple is equal to false select ties we will see all these things so let's go ahead and start with the ID and we will give it the name as state names and we will say select the state and we are talking about United State states and we can give now the names of the states start with California next one we want is Florida the next one is Texas New York and say Arizona okay suppose we want Texas to show up in in the menu or in the select input widget when it loads so I can say okay before that let's go ahead and run the app okay so we see that here we have the um, the widget and in the widget we have all the um, choices which we define uh, using the C function and if you see by default it was California and now we can select any of these suppose I want the default to be Texas that can be done using the argument selected selected equals Texas and let's go ahead and run the app okay this is what we wanted we wanted the default to be Texas and we have it now let's go ahead and use other arguments so we saw that there was one argument called select ties select ties equals false if I do select ties equal to false what will happen is basically 
select input uses a javascript um, call um, select ties and it's basically uh, you know it 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 affects the um, the look and feel so if if i put select ties equal false what it will do is uh, it will tell r not to use the select ties dot javascript instead it will show another uh, look and feel and we will see the difference so if i say select ties equal false you see the two arrows coming in versus one arrow which we saw previously and um, the look and feel is kind of different than the one which we had earlier let's let's make it true and, and, and run it once again to see the difference you see there is one arrow and the look and feel is kind of different so if if we do select ties equal true by default it's true so by default you get this kind of just one arrow and if you don't want this if you like the the other other look and feel you can just make it select ties equal false here and, and and you will get the other look okay now let's see how to select right now we are selecting just one of the choices and i want to select more than one choices how to do that okay there is one option and the, one argument here which we can use and it's called multiple equals true okay if we say multiple is equal e equals true what will happen is it will allow us to select more than one uh, choice okay so it's showing by default we have Texas and now if I want to select Florida it will show that I have selected Florida now next I want to also choose Arizona so I have uh, I've chosen Arizona and now it shows that I have I have three choices uh, which I wanted one one is Texas Florida and Arizona and less rest rest of them is here but I, I can choose now multiple so this is basically how it is when when we say multiple is equals true okay so uh, that's how we use the arguments here and let's go ahead and now um, use this user input and try to uh, interact with the server.r and do some printing and, and uh, whatever was the user input try to print, print it um, in the main panel so we'll go back to server.r and here we will uh, we will define the output variable and let's say stat or state and we will use a render function because we want to render it make it kind of dynamic so that whenever user changes uh, his choice it gets reflected here so we will say whatever user is entering as input take it from the ui.r input dollar and the name of the variable state sorry it's state names here state names okay so what is happening is uh, in the server.r we will take the uh, the user choice whatever user is going to select is um, is it can be accessed through state names that's the variable here we'll be using that we'll be telling r that input dollar the name of the variable so it's in input variable assign it to the output variable and when you're assigning render it so that if there is any change uh, in the input by um, from the user side uh, it gets dynamically changed so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and print it and we will do in the main panel in the main panel i will write text output and i will give the name of the variable as state okay let's go ahead and run the app 
okay and we see now that by default the um, the selection was Texas and we see in the main panel the selection is Texas I want to choose California okay it prints whatever I'm choosing okay 